Braden Fisk is a defensive tackle out of Florida State. He's nearly six foot four, 292 pounds. He has moved all along the interior of the defensive line. He is a guy that coaches will love, plays with all out effort, is unrelenting uh, in pursuit as much as any player you'll see in any year. He's a very good run defender, advanced in taking on double teams. I wrote down that he is the master of the last minute shed. Part of the reason for that is that he finds the football extremely well when engaged. It's a difficult block one-on-one. You see him here at two-eye taking on the center, changing the line of scrimmage right there, uh, watching the backfield, finding the football, getting off the block and getting in on this tackle. Watch it again. You don't have to watch too far into any game uh, to note that Braden is very good at taking on double teams. This is a somewhat underdeveloped skill in, in many or most defensive tackles coming out of college, but Braden is advanced uh, in that regard as far as his technique. Certainly a strong player, does a good job of recognizing double teams. Uh, and I talk about this a lot in my videos, the technique uh, involved in taking on double teams. Braden is shaded inside the guard. He's going to attack his post once he feels this double team, drop his hips, and pivot into the pressure of the second offensive lineman. That's the center. You can see the linebacker able to run into the gap being occupied up front, scrape over the top, close down another gap. And as I said, Braden is the master not only of taking on double teams, but of these last-minute sheds. He really finds the football well, even in, engaged in a double team. Taking on a double team, uh, this time he's shaded on the center. Good ball, get off, plays with good pads, gets his hands inside, sinks his hips. He almost always wins the battle of underneath leverage. Watch him throw the... Uh, left guard aside, get these guys on two different levels. Very difficult to move him off the line of scrimmage. Split that double team and make a play on the ball carrier in the backfield. Holding up blocks, making plays in the backfield. He's very effective as it relates to taking up uh, multiple blockers on twists and stunts. Uh, particularly in pass rushing situations. Very explosive in those situations off the ball. You can see he's the first guy by a long shot off the ball here. They're running a twist with the five technique. Guard ends up coming off of that to pick up that twist. And as I have said a few times, I don't think you'll find too many guys better at finding the football when they're engaged. Gets off that block, makes a play in the backfield. Watch it again. Further examples of him being first off the ball, explosive off the ball, playing with good pads, great lower leg drive, uh, changing the line of scrimmage, and once again, finding the football, locking out his arms, and shedding. The length of his arms will be an issue in the NFL, 31-inch arms, uh, but his pursuit, uh, his effort, you're not going to find too many guys that match that. As a pass rusher in the NFL, uh, his pressures and sacks, to my mind, will come from his motor, uh, his being relentless. In some measure and in some instances, it'll depend on, on coverage on the back end, allowing the rush time to get home. Uh, his ability to find the football uh, and his relentlessness uh, will get him some sacks or coverage type sacks. Um, he's limited as a pass rusher. Um, guys will get their hands into his chest. He does have shorter arms. Right now, by and large, he's limited to this bull rush that he has, power rushes. They will not be as effective in the NFL. We'll get a look at him uh, utilizing that bull rush. Again, he plays with great pads. Not impressed with the technique here by uh, Duke's left guard. Just wide open arms. He's going to miss uh, against Braden trying to pull that off. Braden's just going to drive him right back into the quarterback. That's not going to be as effective for him against NFL tackles, NFL guards. Watch it again. Another thing that does work 
uh, to his benefit is his explosiveness off the ball. You see that here, and you do see some hand usage, this two-hand swat and swim, and a pressure that flushes the quarterback. I see Braden as he comes into the NFL as a guy with virtually unparalleled motor, a guy who will come in and be effective, stopping the run, taking on double teams, in terms of his pass rush, he's not going to quit. He's going to be effective taking up blocks for stunts and twists. Certainly a player you would like to have on your front uh, in rotation. 